I can't explain why I shine and no one else shines. I think everybody shines in different things. And a lot of things I can't do. I can't play basketball like every other black person in America. But I can act. I, I know how to go to that true spot in myself because I'm there every day. I can be me. I can be whoever because I'm true to me. I can go to neutral easily. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I could go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I could walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. It's there. It's not sold. I didn't sell it. It's still within me. I still feel it. My heart is still connected to my body. So I, I could, any character, I'm going to bring that intensity, that truth, that honesty to it because I have to repay for, for that blessing from black Jesus, from God, have to pay for that by shining. If he give you the, the voltage and you waste it, that's the curse. He gave me the voltage, I'm a shine. It's not mine, it's, it's from God, it's God. Not that it's so special that nobody got it, but all of our gifts and blessings and, and our strengths and our weaknesses come from God, come from black Jesus or whoever comes from within you, you know what I mean? So. It's not really tricky. It's, everybody can do it if they just can go to that spot. I guess all the things that happened to me in my life allow me to go there easily. I've been getting the blame for all everything that Thug Life ever did. Everything that anybody can say Thug Life, and then it, it always comes back to me. I didn't have policemen get killed, and I get blamed for it, and you know, all type of violence, and I get blamed for it. And I want to say that you know, I didn't create Thug Life. I diagnosed it. You know, just like if a doctor says, this is the AIDS virus. He didn't make AIDS, he diagnosed it. He won't be held responsible for every AIDS case. You know, if anything, he's bringing you information on maybe finding a cure. I felt as though that's the same thing I did for Thug Life. For me to be out here saying, don't, you know, put your guns down and no violence, that's hypocritical. And if I didn't talk about the violence, everybody would act like the violence wasn't there. We, as rappers, bought that violence. We, we bought the, the violence that we seen on the street. We put in our records, put in our records for years. And after three, four years, people finally starting to see it because of all the statistics that's going on in the streets. If we stopped talking about it, then they wouldn't take statistics. And when they stopped taking statistics, then we'd be killing each other in the street and these white people wouldn't care no more. Only people they, only reason they care is because, you know, there's been some strays and we done slipped over in the white neighborhoods. And there's kids in Iowa that want to be like us. You know what I'm saying? There's kids in, in Indiana that's trying to be like us because they can relate too. I've had a gun pulled on me by my limo driver, by police, by everybody. You know what I'm saying? And saying I've been attacked. You ain't read the papers about these skinheads trying to blow up black churches. Why? They see me as the enemy just like y'all do. You know what I'm saying? They can come to my house and sit outside my house just like anybody else can. A skinhead. And once my life is gone, it's gone. Can't nobody give it back to me. Not the judge, not the president, not the governor, not Calvin Butts, not Jesse Jackson. They can't do nothing but come to my funeral and talk pretty about how black people suffer. Things ain't really changed that much. I swear to God, nothing I ever say is meant to be um, something where innocent people get hurt. Nothing I ever say is meant to be like a end all, let's go do it right now. Nothing. Everything I ever say. And if, if, if any, this is so we can set it clear, anything I ever say as it pertains to, um, to, to my peers and, and, and um, being strapped is only in self-defense. You know what I'm saying? Because my, right now where I'm at, the world is harsh. And I just don't got no beautiful stories. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just be getting them ready. Cause that's why I think I messed up. If somebody would've grabbed me, pulled me to the side and been like, look, Tupac, as soon as you step out here, they are gonna be at you. If somebody would have explained it to me, I wouldn't have took the same mistakes. But I made those mistakes. And that was my job to stop somebody else from making those same mistakes. To lay it out. To lay out the real map on the world and how it is. All, all the society is doing is leeching off the ghetto. They use the ghetto for their pain, for their sorrow, for their culture, for their music, for their happiness, for their movies. You know, I want when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver. You know, I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do? It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. Forget about that clicking up sh thing, you know what I mean? Be to yourself. Stay to yourself. Trust nobody. Trust 
nobody after dog. You know what I mean? Straight mm -hmm. up. My closest friends did me in. My mm -hmm. closest friends, my homies, people who I done took care of their whole family. I done took care of everything for them, looked out for them, put them in the game, everything turned on me. Fear is stronger than love. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Fear is stronger than love. All the love I gave didn't mean nothing when it came to fear. So it's all good. But I'm a soldier. I always survive. I constantly come back. You know what I mean? Only thing that can kill me is death. That's the only thing that'll ever stop me is death. And even then, my music will live forever.